Good afternoon, everybody. My AIOS number is uh, D15756. So I'll be presenting about corneal biomechanics and connective tissue disorders. These are a group of multi-system diseases characterized by chronic inflammation of organs rich in connective tissues such as skin, joints, and eyes, usually due to immune dysregulation. Collagen as a part of connective tissue richly found in eyes and particularly in cornea might be affected in connective tissue disorder ultrastructurally even without clinical ophthalmic involvement. Now this is the machine which we have used in our study, ocular response analyzer, which measures intraocular pressure, corneal compensated and Goldman correlated, and various corneal biomechanical properties like corneal hysteresis, which is a measure of viscous dampening of cornea, and its ability to absorb and disseminate energy. Corneal resistance factor, which is a resistance factor for deformation of cornea. Corneal biomechanical properties have been shown to be affected in patients with glaucoma in earlier studies and are important to consider when measuring intraocular pressure. Earlier studies have evaluated the corneal biomechanical properties using ORA in rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, systemic sclerosis, collagen vascular diseases with various conflicting results. Ours is the first study with the highest number of participants with connective tissue disorder in which corneal biomechanical properties have been studied. So, proceed, so we proceeded with the aim to evaluate the corneal biomechanical properties in patients with connective tissue disorder and compare them with age match healthy control. We took 62 diagnosed cases of connective tissue disorder who were already on treatment from immunology department where, and they were enrolled from January 17 to July 18. 44 subjects formed the age match healthy control group without connective tissue disorder. All participants enrolled were more than 18 years and were free from any ophthalmic and systemic diseases. We excluded all those ophthalmic corneal conditions which affected the corneal stroma and hence, hence its lamellar arrangement which lead to malformed biomechanical properties like corneal ectasia, keratitis, dystrophy or degeneration or vascularization. Diabetes mellitus, any previous intraocular surgery like refractive surgery or corneal cross-linking. Glaucoma and high IOP also. Only one eye, right eye of the subject was enrolled in this study. All participants underwent comprehensive ophthalmic examination, including BC VIC, IOP fundus examination. Ocular response analyzer and corneal pachymetry measurements were performed. All subjects were assessed for corneal hysteresis, resistance factor, corneal compensated IOP, Goldman correlated IOP, and central corneal thickness. Five measurements were obtained for each eye, and the average of these measurements was taken as a final reading. Now we came to results, as you can see here, only significant values were seen in the steroid treatment group in the study group, and there was no significant association in the mean age and the gender of the patients. These are the various clinical diagnoses of connective tissue disorders which we included in our study. Majority were rheumatoid arthritis followed by SLE and sarcoidosis. Rest of these diseases formed equal contribution. Now this is our main result table where we can see that the mean corneal hysteresis value was 9.54 plus minus 1.66, and mean corneal resistance factor value was 9.95 plus minus 1.47. These both values were statistically significantly lower in the study group than the control group. And we also got significant values in the central corneal thickness, which was higher in the study group than the control group. Now coming to this discussion part, these biomechanical properties are highly important to consider in connective tissue disorders when the patient is planned for refractive surgery and measuring IOP. We reported significantly lower CH and CRF in our patients with CTDs with comparable Goldman correlated IOP and corneal biomechanical, corneal compensated IOP. So these are the various studies. In the study by Coloco et al, 2014, 23 patients of collagen vascular disease had no significant difference in mean CH and CRF. Whereas in another study of 29 patients by Emory et al, we scleroderma showed higher CRF and Goldman correlated IOP, but comparable CH. If this is a similar study to our study. Yazisi et al studied corneal biomechanical properties in 30 patients with SLE and found that mean CH and mean CRF and Goldman correlated IOP was statistically significantly lower compared to the control group. So we can say that this lower CH is associated with various types of glaucoma, including POAG, PACG, normal tension, and pseudo-exfoliative glaucoma. 
Lower CH is also associated with glaucomatous visual field and optic nerve progression. So to conclude all this, we can say that lower CH found in our patient with CTD may underestimate the IOP that may have clinical implication in the diagnosis and management of glaucoma. And so this study highlights an importance of corneal biomechanical properties in connective tissue disorders. Thank you.